Will the Hyperloop become a new mode of transportation? On paper, it's safe, it's incredibly fast, it's not dependent on the weather, it's relatively green, and it wouldn't cost much for travelers to use. But in reality, it's unproven. There are concerns about safety, whether passengers might feel claustrophobic, or if they'd even be able to stand up inside the vehicle. The big question is whether the actual cost to build a Hyperloop, and someone will have to build one, will go well beyond initial estimates. Some companies are finding out. Those tubes could be the future of travel. We went to the middle of the desert where one company has started building tech they say will revolutionize transportation, Hyperloop Technologies. Hyperloop, an idea for what the future of transportation could one day look like, famously scrawled on a napkin by tech magnet Elon Musk. It almost looks like science fiction. You sit in a pod and are catapulted through a depressurized tube at over 700 miles per hour. Elon Musk came up with the idea, but open sourced it, challenging anyone in the world to make it a reality. Two companies took on the task. One, called Hyperloop Transportation Technologies, is made up of volunteers around the world who engineer in exchange for stock options. And then there's Hyperloop Technologies, Similar name, different team. The proof point was when in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, they actually, you know, for the first time achieved human flight uh, in an airplane. For us, our Kitty Hawk moment is uh, building our test track, three mile test track, and doing that by the end of 2016 and hitting over 700 miles per hour with, with our system. And Pishavar says Hyperloop won't be limited to just moving people. The top 15, one five cargo ships in the world pollute the world more than all the cars in the world combined. That's a billion cars. Um, and so you have a, a cleaner, uh, more efficient, and, and less expensive solution.